Alrighty, guys, welcome to another what? Sage, what? What are you? What are you doing? Sorry, I was just waiting for you to wake up. Corbett was looking for us, but said he didn't want to wake you. Uh, that what? Wh that doesn't mean you get to watch me while I sleep. Oh, sorry. <sighs> All right, let's do a little recap, and then we can meet up with Corbett. Anyways, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Wanderers. Um, it is great to be back, and I love to seeing everyone's nice little comments. It means the world to me. But let's do a little recap anyways. So in the last episode, we went, ooh, we went to the Elric Library, and we found a book that has ancient we found, sorry, we found a book about the city planning and architecture of Drassa, but it's in ancient Dracinian, and we weren't able to get it. We had to get Corbett, so our goal today is to go get that book, and we'll, <laughs> excuse me, oh my god, we'll see what else happens, but I guess our goal is just to get the book, and, oh, I'm a little hungry, let's get some toast bread that I stole all those episodes ago. <laughs> It comes in handy. But yeah, that was um, basically what happened in the last episode. Um, not super eventful, but kind of fun. I haven't looked through Pierce's journal in a bit, but I will try and look through some next episode. Anyways, Sage, let's go find Corbett. Alright, um, oh, there's a meeting going on. So, all those civilians? We don't have the support to stop that, Ulma. We're going to lose to Drassa. If we act now, we're going to lose many of our people. So we have to continue with the knowledge that this is going to happen? If we tell people to leave, then they'll know there's a mole. Sorry to interrupt, but... <clears throat> don't worry about it, Chai. We were done. They glare at Corbett and Arthur and leave. Sorry about them. Uh, it's okay. Doesn't seem like any of my business. Shall we head out? Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, why'd we stop? There's something you need to know about Xavier. We used to date. So that might be where a lot of the hostility came from yesterday. So what I'm trying to say is, he's going to be very rude to you. So just wanted to give you a warning. Let's head out, ladies. So he's really just charms everyone he knows, huh? Sage, that's really rude. Okay, come on, we're getting far behind, let's go. He has a big grin on his face. Xavier, hello, how have you been? He crosses his arm. Well, you dropped out of my life a few months back, only saying you're busy with work. But other than that, I'm fine. Okay. But I see now that you have the time? <laughs> Xavier, let's not get into that right now. You have time for her. We dated for two years, Corbett. Xavier, you need to stop this. We have come for the book. Can we please just get the book? You guys dated for two years and you just... Chai, this isn't the time to get into that right now, nor do I want to talk about it. Oh, he's back. That was quick. Thank you so much. He takes the book. He smiles. I will return this soon. He rolls his eyes. Stop with the fake smile, Corbett. It's getting old. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Xavier. So, Corbett... Did he know? No, he didn't know what I do. But you dated for so long, how did he not find out? <laughs> what can I say? I'm very good at my job. Are you sure you're okay, Corbett? I mean, you kind of snapped back there, which I've never seen you do. I mean, it's okay to be upset. He stares at you for a moment. I'm perfectly fine. Let's go back and try and figure out what is in this book. All right, let's go, I guess.
Wow, it's already noon. That's uh, but Corbett, why did we stop? I don't mean to alarm you, ladies, but we are being followed. What? We're we're, <laughs> we're being followed. Just keep walking. Once we're near an alley, I will take them down. Uh, okay. Oh my God! What is he? Oh, uh, is that Beatrice? She looks up and gets off of Corbett. Sage? What are you doing here? I'm looking for you two. I wanted to make sure you were okay. And I, I mean, you both were okay. Just not you, Sage. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> there's a lot happening at once. Corbett, are you okay? He gets up and dusts himself off. You're very skilled. Who is this? Uh, this is Beatrice. She's the head guard of Willera. Or right now she's the head guard. Ah, that explains it. I apologize for tackling you. I could tell you were following us for a while and thought you were some sort of assassin. Well, I was following you guys for a while because I couldn't tell if it was you guys. Well, at least we know the makeovers work. How is everyone? Well, you've only been gone for a few days, but I haven't seen Basil, and I just had to get out of there. So, I'm sorry, I don't have any updates. I hate to cut this reunion short, but we need to return. Tell your friend goodbye so we can go. Wait, <laughs> goodbye? Can she not come with us? No. But why? You both are somehow lucky enough to have Alma take you both back. We don't typically do things like that. But, I'm sorry, but my answer is no. You can either stay with her or come with us, but you may not have it both ways. She looks back at you and Beatrice. She came all this way. I'll just stay with her for a bit. Sage, you don't know. I want to. You left Willowra to come see us. Well, it's decided. Sage, you cannot return with her or tell her where the cave is. If you do, there will be consequences. Come along, Chai. We must get going. Uh, um, uh, Sage, stay safe. I'm sure you will be with Beatrice. Um, come back as soon as you can. I just want to make sure you're okay. Um, all right, Corbett, let's go. Father, we've returned with the book. He hands it over. Arthur thumbs through the book. He looks up. Very good. I have no clue what this says. What? I should have stated that before. He laughs. Oh, father. Corbett, you assume I could? I'm very flattered, son, but I'm not that skilled. We also don't have anyone here that can read this either. Corbett, do you know anyone? Yes. All right, then. Who is it? We need to figure out what is in this. Corbett looks down and clenches his fist. Corbett? Xavier can read ancient Dracinian. That's great. You two are great friends. I'm sure he would look through it for us. We aren't friends anymore, Father. We need to find someone else. Oh, I see. Well, there must be someone else you know in the ranks. If I ask anyone in the higher ranks about this book, they will get suspicious. I just lowered suspicions. I can't raise them again. I mean... I know someone? You do? Are you in contact with them? How soon can you reach them? Uh, um, well, he's in Willera, and I'm not very welcome there, and he hasn't been seen in a few days. He thinks. Corbett. Xavier is our best bet. Can you put aside your quarrels and ask him for his help? I can't! Arthur looks shocked. Uh, Corbett, you've never raised your voice. What is wrong? He clenches his hand more. Corbett, why, <laughs> why don't we take a walk? Come on. I. Corbett looks at you. He looks back at Arthur and clears his throat. Yes, I. Yes, I think that would be very nice.
so are you okay? I apologize that you had to see that. Like my father said, I never lose my temper. Do you want to talk about it now? He sighs. My father is not aware that Xavier and I dated, only Alma and my close friends, but he just thought we were friends. I broke up with Xavier because of the rays of suspicion on my end. They started to interrogate him and ask him questions as my peers and superiors were aware that we were close. I couldn't get him involved in this. I care too much. I can't put him in that position because if I tell him and he doesn't want to be involved, it still puts him in danger. If we go to him and ask him to translate, he won't do it because of the breakup. But even if he did somehow agree, he would only do it if he knew why. Wow, uh, so why haven't you told your dad all of this? I don't know. I know he will be supportive and all, but it's still frightening, you know? What is the likelihood of contacting your friend that can read your ancient Dracinian? Very unlikely. Uh, that's the person Beatrice was talking about that hasn't been seen in a few days. He sighs. I just don't want to get him involved. Well, Corbett, I think we need to at this point. I mean, none of us know what it says and we can't go and get Basil. So this is our only option. Maybe. Maybe we can find a way around telling him. Yeah, maybe we can. Let's, now that you've cooled down, uh, let's go and talk to your dad about the whole Xavier thing. Okay, you can, it, it, it's okay, you can, you can do this. Father, I apologize for my outburst before. I will ask Xavier tomorrow. <laughs> it's all right, you don't need to apologize, Corbett. Clearly, I struck a nerve. I don't need to know why, but if you need to talk to someone, I'm here. He thinks for a moment. It's because I broke up with him. He chuckles. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at the breakup. I'm laughing because I've been waiting for you to tell me this for years. <laughs> you, you knew? Uh, well, yes, but I wasn't 100% sure. I had my suspicions because of how close you two were. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, Chai, I need to talk to my dad alone. Yeah, the... This, I don't, definitely don't need to be here for this conversation. Um, all right. All right, guys, that's the end of the episode. It was pretty eventful, yet I think pretty mellow day. Nothing really that bad happened. I We've been having, we've been having a good few days. I don't think anything, we, we haven't done anything crazy, which is nice and relaxed. A very good way to get, you know, back into the, the groove of things. Um, but today was pretty fun. We uh, got the book from Xavier and we ran into Beatrice, which, you know, it's always nice to see a familiar face and I'm glad she's okay. And I'm sure Sage is pretty happy about that too. I know that those two are very close friends and I'm glad we could help Corbett out with his uh, situation. And hopefully Xavier agrees to reading the book because it's kind of very important and maybe can reveal where the tunnels in the kingdom are because, you know, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and just know if you guys need any help at all. Um, you got a supportive group around you and I can tell you that right now and you can join the discord and we can all chat and talk if you guys need anything. And yeah, I'm pretty active on there. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys. So, you haven't seen Basil? No, I'm sorry. I should have asked Pierce, but I just wanted to leave. It's okay. I don't blame you. I would have wanted to leave as soon as possible as well. I haven't seen Wilbur either. 
I'm sure he is aware of my absence by now. Hmm? There's someone at the door this late? Sage, get out of here. Huh? I did the outro. It should be Corbett. Uh, are you okay? Chai, it's Sage. Uh, Sage, what about her? She's with Beatrice. Just come on. Sage! Oh my god. Huh? What, what what happened? They... They took Beatrice. They? Who's they? Dressa. <sighs> Wilbur must have told guards to find her. Did you lead them here? I, I don't know. Did you lead them here? The, the door, the, the door's open.